thought that I finished, put me in the game. Tonight. They'll start on the ground. Carter. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Rich throwing the out route incomplete. That's Barrett. Now he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. And he's got his man on the out route. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. On first and 10, it's Carter. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. On third and two, Rich. Hard throw, incomplete. Going with her tight end on fourth. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Off the play fake. Rich. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive. INT. Draw play. Carter. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Rich. Flushed out right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Cowboys under head coach Mike McCarthy. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. Eluding the pressure right. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a pick six on the first play of the drive. And Charles, we have our first points of the game, making it six to nothing. And while it's only six points in the first quarter, it certainly takes a lot of pressure off of them, doesn't it? 
They're in the lead. They have control. Now they just want to settle in and play their game and defend that advantage. Now Cade York for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taylor now from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. To it after the pick six. Prescott into double coverage and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, it's now a two touchdown lead in the opening quarter. Following that pick six, they are off to a fast start in this one. And absolutely ecstatic on the sideline after that play, aren't they? Not just because they've got the lead, but how about seeing one of their guys get a chance to take it in for six? Already up a pair of touchdowns. They've got everything going their way early on. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And one thing we haven't pointed out yet, probably should, you've got a dome team on the road, January, cold weather. How tough is that, or is that something that really shouldn't come into play? Well, it shouldn't come into play, but let's face it, if you've been a dome team all year and used to controlled environment, you need to get yourself outside a little bit for practice during the week, and that's what most of these teams do, because just because they play in a dome doesn't mean they don't have bad weather outside to work in, so they can do that, get their guys acclimated, and then that way, it takes it all the way when you get to game day in a foreign place. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. Throwing, Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. From just shy of midfield, Prescott. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Prescott. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So, roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground. This time, Cook trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Cook. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Touchdown! From three yards out, and the Cowboys are back within a score. But well, he is such a matchup nightmare down near the goal line, CD, and another example right there on that play for the touchdown. It's borderline impossible to defend this guy because that kind of size, he can still get out and run a crisp route, and he has excellent hands. Even if you stick with him, all the quarterback has to do is lob it up, and he can win almost any jump ball. Extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Now Carter to start the drive. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of four on the first down play. That was a terrific play causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Back to throw. Rich. Quick hitter here. It's complete. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. <laughs> to throw on third down. Rich escaping the pressure right. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. On second down, a run with Carter. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but 
When you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to them, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Looking to throw. Rich. But it's caught. Tompkins. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. There he goes left side. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Now the try here for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Operating from the gun. Rich, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Throwing on first down. Rich, Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Now the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Looking to throw on second down, Rich. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now here's a throw that's complete, and they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Back 
to throw again. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. Carter straight ahead, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw. Rich. This one brought in by Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Looking to throw. Rich. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings! From eight yards out. And the Vikings have taken the lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Hey, York on now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it's polished off by a Viking score. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. On the return, it's Taylor from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Cowboys and Dak Prescott getting set to take over once more. And after starting the game with two INTs, you remember, he got back on the beam with a touchdown pass on their previous drive. They start the drive with Cook. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Prescott. He finds Austin complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The offense on third down tonight, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses have their way so far, so maybe the question isn't, Who's going to score the most points in this game? Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And take it right on the 30. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Vikings, they'll be set up well as they take over in great field position. First and 10. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Off the bootleg. Rich. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. From the gun on third down. Rich. 
And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. York able to send this one through. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Got to throw it. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. They'll try the middle with Cook. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. On third and one, here's Prescott. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. A Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. The Vikings head out to take over once again. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Second and five. A give up the middle to Carter. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Rich looking middle, and that's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. On first and 10, Rich targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Operating from the gun, Rich. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Another run on second down with Carter. 
And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Rich. And he fires one, but incomplete. York able to send this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get this to the 24 and it's second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott from the gun. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run with Carter. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Carter again. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Michael Carter taking it in from two yards out. And the Vikings continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point by York is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. And now here come the Cowboys. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Prescott. That'll be complete to Cook. The Vikings going to signal for their first to their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now Prescott. Right back to Cook for another completion. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Dallas.
Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And now out comes Minnesota. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. From the gun on third down, Rich steps away to his left. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Back to throw. Rich. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. York able to send this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. But just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Dancing to his left. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And complete right side to Cook. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Final play of the half, Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. 
And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Denver Broncos who are heading back to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game.